right. Uh, first, apologies for uh, not managing to do any UFC predictions for last weekend, uh, or rather this weekend, but it should have been up last weekend. Uh, and now, um, on to my predictions for next weekend, which will be uh, the start of March. Because next weekend you can also uh, expect, um, well, any time from then, me to do the Fighter of the Month for this month. Uh, so, this is an event that's going on. Um, in uh, Nevada. It's UFC 196 um, on the 5th of March, that's next Saturday. Now this is the one that should have been uh, Conor McGregor versus Rafael Dos Anjos for the title. Uh, but Rafael Dos Anjos is not um, fighting uh, on the card anymore, he has been injured in training. Um, interestingly enough they then offered uh, basically anybody who wanted to fight, um, <laughs> regardless of weight it appears, um, on short notice. They they asked, uh, what's his name, Frankie Edgar, who is sort of next in line for a shot at uh, the legitimate weight uh, class that Conor McGregor is champion of, uh, but he had a groin injury and said, look, even if uh, I said yes to it, they would probably later contact me and say no. Um, although uh, he was criticised for that, um, it turns out to be true. How do we know? Because he, uh, Donna White, asked other people as well. Uh, Uriah Farber, for one. Um, uh, I think uh, Anthony Pettis was another. Um, in the end, they settled on Nathan Diaz, who is another big smack talker, and, and that's probably why they did it. Either that or they actually let uh, Conor McGregor choose, one or the other. Incidentally, this does mean, however, that Conor McGregor is moving up in weight. Um, I believe it's it's a welterweight fight, but I could be wrong. I, I can't honestly remember, and it doesn't actually say here, which is surprising. Um, but I think they, you know, this, this is jiggling around. It really is. Um, a lot of people say, a lot of people are hoping, like me, that Nate Diaz manages to win this one. Um, the thing is, his his best opportunity is the ground game. Statistically, that is where he is the best. Um, and were he to be able to get uh, Conor McGregor down, we might be in for a shot. Unfortunately, as you might expect, Nathan Diaz is going to stand. And this is going to... You know, he stands as good a chance, therefore, as anybody else, of, of not managing to win this one. I hope, I do hope, that Nathan Diaz wins. Incidentally, um, in terms of records, Conor McGregor is much better here. 19-2 and two versus 19-10. and 10. Um, One way or the other, neither of them have a very uh, high statistic when it comes to... Um, Decision. So we can expect this to uh, be either a stoppage um, on the feet uh, pretty quickly, I would imagine, if Conor McGregor is going to win his striking, therefore, sort of, I suppose, overcasting the weight difference. Or, if the fight goes on for longer, it could end on the ground, um, and that would be uh, Nathan Diaz. Who's to say? Uh, I hope Nathan Diaz, but that is plainly and honestly because I am sick and tired of the way that the UFC are messing around um, here with Conor McGregor. I really am. Um, there is another uh, fight. There are plenty more fights, in fact, on the um, main court cards. We have a women's bout, um, and that is Holly Holm, I think, versus Misha Tate, yes. Um, although Misha Tate is uh, seeded as number two, uh, I think Holly Holm will probably win. She is the champion at the moment. Uh, Gian Vellante is fighting Ilya Latifi. These are seeded 13th and 14th respectively. Uh, and their records are quite similar. 14 and 6, 12 and 4. Uh, this is going to be a stand-up war. I guess this is sort of a backup in case things go wrong with uh, the McGregor fight. Um, who's to say? Uh, statistically, Ilya Latifa looks like he has more chances of winning in different ways. 
but I think I'm probably going to go with Gian Vellante on that one. Uh, the next fight, Corey Anderson and Tom Lawler, 8-1 um, versus 9-5. and five. Uh, Tom is not ranked, but Corey is ranked 12th. Um, although it has to be said that most of his wins statistically are decision. I wonder if he will get um, a decision on that one as well. Another women's bout, Amanda Nunes and Valentia Shvenchenko, no idea. Let's move to the mid card. Brandon Thatch and Saya Bahadurza. Um, this is quite a good one. This is quite a good one. 13 and 3 versus 21 and 6. Brandon Thatch, known for being a stand up striker. Uh, Saya, I really like. Um, and he's also um, a stand-up striker, but he does have a, a rather um, uh, a statistic for decision as well. So, do you know, I think Brandon Thatcher will probably be the favourite, but I'm actually going to go for um, Sire on that. Uh, Eric Silver and Nordine Taleb. Um, Mm. Uh, I'm going to go for Eric Silver, probably on the ground. Nordine Taleb has a 0% rating on the ground here. Um, and he's split 50-50 between the rest of them. Uh, whereas Eric Silver, 22% stand-up, 17% decision, and most of it on the ground now. That could be a, um, that could be a, a good fight, that one. Uh, Vita Miranda and Marcello Gumeris, don't really know. Um, the latter mainly decision, the former is a striker. Uh, Darren Elkins and Chaz Skelly. Um, 15 and 1 Chaz Skelly, 20 and 5 for Darren Elkins, who is ranked 11th. Uh, and pretty well um, rounded. His, his area of weakness here is on the ground, which is interesting because that, of course, is uh, Chaz Skelly's area of strength. But I don't see him finishing Darren Elkins on the ground, therefore I'm, I'm going to go for uh, Elkins there. Let's go to the bottom of the card. We have Diego Sanchez and Jim Miller. Fancy seeing them on the bottom of the card. Sometimes I wonder if they do this deliberately because these early prelims are the sort of fight pass thing. And I wonder if that's a sort of, um, you know, they put a few names down there every so often. Uh, oh, an interesting one. I don't know who will win that one. don't know. That one will be an interesting one to watch. Probably Jim Miller, but, you know. Uh, Jason Sago and Justin Sallers. Um... Well, if it finishes, if the fight finishes, it will probably finish by submission and it will be a Jason Sago win. If the fight goes all the way to decision, uh, Justin Salas will probably win. And the final bout is Julian Erosa and Teruto Ishihara. Uh, no idea. 15 and 3 versus 8 and 2. Uh, Julian on the ground. Um, Ishihara on the feet. Uh, who knows? Who cares? Um, <laughs> so that is my predictions for this um, event.